Hi friends, I am Vijay Swalanki and you are watching something of everything. In this video, we will learn about simply supported beam. Basically, there will be three things: modeling the beam, assigning support to it, giving loading to it. That will be the modeling modeling part. Then the second step, analyzing it, and then the third part is designing the beam. Let us first model the beam. So, go to geometry. If you want to snap the beam by grid, you can or just close this and write down 000 as the first node. Select this node, copy, paste it to the length that you want the beam to be of. Let us say the beam is of 10 meter length. So, these are the two nodes that will create the beam. I select the beam command from here or go to geometry, add beam and select this box and create the beam. Now that you have created the beam, all you have to do is you have to assign the supports to it. Go to general tab, support tab, create the support that you want to give. You want to give pin to one end and fixed butt. Release everything except Y to the other. Okay. Select this node and assign it. Select another node and assign that Y. That means roller to it. Now that you have assigned the supports, let us give the property to the beam. As the beam is of 10 meter length, let us give a random size. Let's say the beam is of 750 mm in depth and 300 mm in width. Add this property, assign this property to use cursor to assign, place assign, and select the beam you want to give the property to. Use the isometric view. Press Ctrl 2 so that you can see the beam size. Okay. Now let us give the loading. So that go to general load and definition tab. In the load case details. Press add. Create the load case. Let us say we are saying that the load case is dead load. In the dead load, press add so that you can add the load data. Now in the member load. Give the uniform load of 10 kN per meter in the GY direction that is downward. Select that load that you have first created. Fix cursor to assign and select the beams to which you want to add the load. First, add the dead load of the beam as self weight. Assign to you. And the self weight of the beam is also as Save the model frequently so that your work can be saved. Go to analysis and paint. What you want to paint? Let's say you want to paint all. We have added perform analysis command. Now let us give the design parameters to the beam so that we can see the design after the analysis. Go to design and concrete design. Select the code as IS4 plus 6. Define the parameters. First one is clear command, that is a cover, clear cover to the beam. Add it, add it, add FC. Let us say the beam is of 25 MPa, complex strength, and still of 500 MPa. Add this. Now we don't want to give it a maximum and all those commands. Let's just add take two and add the command of design view. Okay, just assign everything to the view or select it. Use cursor to assign, press assign and assign it. Or you can do this. You can copy this, select another. Paste it and assign it. That way also the same will be assigned to the 
hidden links without getting those window of the attention that you are assigning this. Now that you have created the beam, assigned the supports, assigned the loads, given the analysis and print command, and given the design parameters, all you have to do is you have to analyze the structure. Let us see if there is any warning and error or not. That's all, there is no warning and there is no warning. Go to cross processing mode less than press apply ok do the front view and see the displacement you can see the deflection from the deflection tape command and go to result view value beam results and maximum result and deflection it will show you the deflection of the beam that is 8.65 at the center if you calculate the same from the deflection formula that is 5 by 3 at equal to WL4 by EI, make sure you use the E value as given in this for M25, the E value should be 5000 root FCP that is 5000 root 25 and you have to revise your input file such that the E value becomes the same as you calculate that is 2.5 into E rate 10 is to 7 and the density of the materials will be 25 if you don't change this the results when you calculate manually you have to take E and weight values from this input part Let's reanalyze it, go to post processing and see whether that makes any difference to the structure or not. Let's go to beam and see the graphs. It will show you all the graphs. This is graph of MZ, FY, FX and I guess you can see the other forces from right by right clicking the window and go to diagrams and selecting the respective diagrams if you select 2 it will show the both let us say bending zz as well as the shear diagram in one you can see it ok let's first see what will be the deflection value let's start the deflection go to note as go to results View value, beam results, maximum result and annotate it. As you can see, if we change the E and density values, the deflection gets changed. So make sure you change the values of E and the density in the input file. Okay, now let us see the bending moments etc. Just click on this icon so that you can hide the loads. As you can see, the MZ value is 195. You can calculate the same from WL as to 4 by 8. Sorry, WL square by 8. As you can see, it's 195. And the shear value that is 78.1. Okay, you can see the moment diagram here from MZ the shear diagram from FY if there is any torsion you can see it by clicking on MX icon you can change the load cases from here now that you have analyzed the structure you can see the moment values all you have to do is you have to design it as we have given the design parameters just double clicking on it will show you the concrete design there in this it will show you how much of reinforcement is required as you can see the design parameter says 41525 but as you know we have given concrete FI secondary we have not given FI main we have to give FI main in order to take the steel as FI 500 just assign it analyze it 
and as you can see select the beam cursor double click it and go in concretism as you can see the fire shall be 500 concrete is m25 depth of the beam is 750 mm width of the beam is 300 mm length of the beam is 10 meter maximum moment is 195.31 at distance 5 meter for that the steel shell required is 612 at bottom 510 at top and 510 at left side top okay you can see the deflection from the deflection tape at the distance that you want in y direction as you can see at particular distances you can see the deflection values you can see the shear and bending values from shear and bending tapes for different distances you can see the loadings that you have applied in the loading tape you can see the properties of the beam in this property tape in geometry tape you can see the size and the applications that you have given about the specifications in the geometry tape ok just go to the output file and as you know we have done print all let us see what it shows in print all it shows how much of load, total load is being applied to the beam in total reaction from the beam and in the concrete design it will show you all the moments that are gets and for that moments and shear the values of reinforcement at different locations this is how you can design the beam analyze the beam in step if you like the video to share the video as much as you can subscribe to our videos and yeah if any query write down it in the comment section so that we can solve it thank you Thank you for watching this video and please subscribe our channel.